adopted a child that had a huge secret. I found her sleeping out by the dumpster and decided to help. But then strange things started to happen. Enjoy the video. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I have been living in Brookhaven for a couple of weeks now. And in case you didn't watch the last video, something pretty crazy happened. Anyway, I just had to drop off my money to the bank so that I could pay a builder who was literally building me a brand new house. Yeah. That's right, which is why I am about to walk to my brand new mansion. You see, I'm looking at it from a distance. Okay, it's nice. <laughs> it's really nice. Wow. Wait a minute. What is that sound about? It sounds like something is coming from over here. Uh... Hey, Ugly, why are you here? We don't have room in this school for dogs like you. Not gonna say anything, huh, punk? Get out of here and never come back. Wait a minute, did I really just witness that with my eyes? And is she really about to jump into that dumpster? Stinky loser! Hey! Hey, you punk! Now listen here, flipping Randy. I don't like bullies. What is it, old fart? Wait, did he just call me old? <laughs> I'm not old. What do you want? I don't have cash on me. Uh, wait, does he think I'm homeless? Listen up here, punk. If you want to keep this up, I will call your mother and I will have her take away your PS5. My mom? Yeah, your mama. Now I suggest you get the heck out of here. That's right. <laughs> Anyway, as you guys just saw right there, ladies and gentlemen, that poor young girl just got bullied by a random guy, and I don't like that. Wait, who is this? Wow, thank you for sticking up for her. Oh, seriously, no problem. I would literally do that for anybody. I mean, why was he bullying her anyway? That's a little bit weird for a boy to bully a girl. She's been in that dumpster for a week. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, I am so confused. Why would somebody choose to live in a dumpster? Rumor says that she was kicked out of the orphanage in the next town, but I don't know why. Wait a minute, what? That literally makes no sense. Why would she be kicked out of an orphanage? Okay, well, anyway, uh, it was really nice speaking to you. Uh, have a nice day. And uh, guys, I think that I am going to go talk to this orphan. Okay, so here we go. Let's give this our best shot. Uh, excuse me, uh, lady inside of the trash can. Little girl, uh, can I please speak to you? Oh, there she is. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My name is Carly. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you don't talk much, do you? Okay, well, I was expecting you at least to say hi to me. Anyway, I heard from a little birdie that you have been sleeping in this trash can after getting kicked out of an orphanage. Is that true? Yeah, she just jumped straight back in. Great. Excuse me, uh, girl, come out. Please, come out. Pretty please. <laughs> so... Wait, why was your hands up? That was weird. Anyways, my name is Callie. What is your name? Isabel. Ah, what a lovely name. Hit the subscribe button if your name isn't Isabel. Okay, so I can't really do much for you, but uh, I think I may be able to help. That's right. I saw you looking over at the school earlier, and something tells me that you want to go to that school with the other kids. No? Nah. Well, maybe. Maybe you would like to sleep in a nice cushioned bed that isn't a metal floor dumpster. No? Th then what do you want? Oh, you just say no to everything. Okay, I understand. I don't think she speaks too well. Okay, well, I'm actually on the way back to my beautiful mansion I just had built. And I'm going to give you the offer right now that if you want to sleep in one of these spare bedrooms for a week, I can set you up. So, uh, yeah, if, if you want to, then I guess follow me. If you don't, then stay. Okay, she said okay. This right, Isabel. This could be literally life-changing for you. I have a really nice mansion, and it is completely brand new. This right, well, at least I've had a, a lot of upgrades done on it. So, yeah, I haven't even seen it fully myself. Uh-oh. Is that the maid? Oh, my. Oh, my God! You know what? Don't worry about that, Isabel. That was just the maid. <laughs> She's always clumsy. Seriously, maid Sally, are you kidding me? Okay, Isabella, welcome to your new temporary home. That's right, but you must follow the rules, uh, Isabel. Isabel, I, I know it's really exciting, but I really appreciate it if you didn't bounce all over my $16,000 surface. Oh my god, seriously? Are you kidding me? And now she's climbing in the fire. Yeah, great. You know what, Isabel? I know how I can get you out of there. There we go. <laughs> Okay, well, Isabel, this is the brand new house. You can see we have a beautiful view all over Brookhaven. That's right, the best view in all of Brookhaven. Isabel, who's standing in my plant and now walking mud everywhere. Are you kidding me? Yes, Isabel, as you can see, it's a pretty big house for uh, just one person. So I don't mind you staying until we sort out something permanent. Anyway, let me show you to your room. 
Isabel. That's right, so, uh, yeah, please follow me and push this button. That's right. Just over here, Isabel. On the right is my bedroom. And over here, you can have a pick of either the bug bed bedroom or this beautiful double bed bedroom right here. Let's see which one she's gonna pick. Okay. I think she likes this one. Yay! With a beautiful seaside beach. Okay, well, Isabel, this is your room, so, uh, yeah. I mean, um, I don't know how long you've been sleeping in that dumpster for, but, um... You kind of, um, you kind of smelly. So if you just follow me, I'm gonna take you to the room where you can have a shower, which is literally down here and inside of here. So yeah, this is literally for the hot water and the cold water. As you can see, Isabel, um, please as well, um, when you come inside of here, just make sure you use a towel afterwards. And I... Seriously, you, you want to have a bath instead? Okay, you know what? You have a bath. Oh, Isabel, perfect timing. Look who it is. It's Maid Sally. Yay. Maid Sally, come inside. I have something really cool that I want to show you. That's right. Maid Sally, meet Isabel. Isabel, meet Maid Sally. Hello. Nice to meet you. I don't like her. Wait a minute. I think she's running to our room. Did I say something bad? Uh, no, Maid Sally. Um, I think it's just because, uh, well, she's a little bit weird. That's right. Apparently, she was kicked out of an orphanage literally a week ago in the next village. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, I know. I don't know how people can literally kick a child out of an orphanage. That is so messed up. And you're letting us stay in this house with you? That is so nice of you, Mr. Calixo. Ah, <laughs> thank you. I mean, I'm just doing my bit, I guess. Anyways. I'll go ahead and clean upstairs. I, I want to probably introduce myself to Isabel. You know what? I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Okay. Will you go upstairs and say hi to her? I am going to cook Isabel something delicious for dinner because it looks like she hasn't eaten in, well, a while. And, uh, uh, in my house, everybody has a full belly and a big old smile. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. What do we have? We have uh, some chocolate, some pizza. Maybe she likes milk. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was that? Did you guys just hear that? It sounded like a scream just came from upstairs. Wait, Maid Sally? Why are you screaming? What is it? Isabel bit me. Wait, what? Uh, Maid Sally, Isabel is a child. She wouldn't just bite you. That's weird. She did, I swear. And it really hurts. Okay, well, Maid Sally, maybe it's just because she's not used to living in, like, a nice home. Maybe it's because she's been living in the dumpster and she forgot, you know, normal etiquette. Like, maybe you shouldn't bite people. No. There is something strange about that girl. And I can't figure out what it is. What do you mean something strange about her? She seemed perfectly normal to me earlier today. Maybe she just doesn't know how to look after herself. She has been in an orphanage her whole life. At least I think so. I literally know nothing about her. Sorry, Miss. Mr. Calixo, I need to take the day off. Wait a minute, you do? How bad did she bite you? I'm going to visit the hospital. It stings so much. Wait, maybe you're right. It could be infected. Okay, well, I'm really sorry. I didn't expect this to happen today, Maid Sally. But please, keep a close eye on her. I don't trust her. Anyways, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, that was literally one of the weirdest things that has ever happened inside of this house. Have I really brought a strange, weird little girl into my house that bites people? Why do I always try to be nice and it ends up biting me in the butt? I mean, she's still there, guys. Just staring. She definitely isn't like normal other girls. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go and check the cameras. At least then I can see what really happened because I wasn't there. That's right. Let me go check the CCTV cameras and let's see what happened just a second ago. Here we go. Hey, Isabel. All nice right. to meet you. I don't like you. Wait, what? Go away. Why? What's the matter? You're gonna ruin everything. Ruin She's being it? so nice. He's I don't mine. understand. Rawr. What? Ah! She bit out for no reason. That's right. She gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> oh, hi, Isabel. Mama. What What are you doing down here? Okay, well, Isabel, Um, as you can see, it's getting pretty late right now. So uh, we're actually going to go to bed. So yeah, f follow me, please. That's right. I'm just going to take her to her bedroom. And uh, that's right, Isabel. You sleep, uh... You sleep over here, Isabel. In there? Uh, no, Isabel, that's my room. Come stay in this room. That's right, Isabel. You, you stay in here. That's right. Good night, Isabel. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ah, I mean, don't let them, uh, don't let them nibble. Yeah, okay. 
she's going to sleep. But that was so creepy. Good night. Turns out the light. And I'll see you tomorrow when it's bright. And then I'm going to give you a left, right, good night. Okay, guys, listen up. I am going to bed. But I am sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Uh, ah, what a beautiful morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I actually managed to wake up today. <laughs> are you kidding me? Isabel, what are you doing standing next to me like that? I I'm sorry for scaring you, Isabel. I just, uh, I'm not used to having guests in my house. <laughs> That's right. Oh, did I scare her off? Isabel, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. It's just I've never had anybody stand next to my bed when I woke up. What's this? You don't like me? Oh, Isabel, it's not that I don't like you. I just, I was shocked by the fact she was standing there being all creepy. She's inside of my sink. You know what? This is a good chance to wash her. There we go. Now you have shower. Oh, what, what is she doing? Okay, well, I need to figure out a way I can get her out of my house today. <laughs> yeah. Madam, this is serious. Oh. You said a child bit you? Yes, earlier today. Madam, that's impossible. These are a fully grown up adult's teeth. And to make things worse, we took a swab of saliva from the bite mark and it came back positive with the DNA of a 40 year old woman. That's impossible. She's just a little girl. She has a rare disorder. It causes proportional dwarfism. According to our records, she was born in 1971. She is 40 years old. Madam, I need you to tell me where she is right now. She is at my boss's house. You need to ring him and tell him to stay as far away as possible. All right, I'm on it. He's not answering. He could be in grave danger. I have to help him. No, wait a minute. She is a wanted murderer. She escaped the psych ward last week. I gotta call the police! Guys, I have felt like a captive in my house. I have been stuck upstairs all day because I know that she's literally just walking the hallways. Ugh, I don't like this. That's right, I heard her talking to herself just earlier today and there was something not right with her voice, guys. I, I don't know what it is. But then I heard my phone ring from downstairs and I was too scared to answer it. Okay, well, this is my chance. I've got to sneak out and try and make a break for it. Okay, I don't know where she is right now. Is she down there? Oh, okay, she's not by the front door, which means now I can probably sneak down. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm gonna go check the kitchen and see if she's in there. Uh, okay, I literally don't see her anywhere. <sighs> Maybe she left. Okay, well, guys, like I said, let's get the heck out of my house before uh, we get attacked or something by this girl. And wait, what is this? Oh my gosh. Isabel! What have you done to my maid, Sally? Why didn't you like me? Wait, what do you mean, Isabel? What do you mean, like you? I literally brought you into my house. You like her more? Isabel, you're creeping me out right now. I've never met such a deranged child in my life. Maybe you would like me if you knew the real me. Wait, Isabel, what are you talking about? Wait, what is she doing? What are you trying to tell me right now? What? You have the face of a, a woman? Wait, I am so confused. Isabel, do you mean you're actually a woman, not a girl? Mm-hmm. Am I good enough now? Wait, what do you mean are you good enough? What are you trying to say to me? Wait a minute. Were you jealous of her? Is that why you killed her? Wait. Ha! <laughs> it's the police! Come in quick, police! Oh, you're in so much trouble now, Isabel! Young lady, step back! That's right, Isabel! You are in so much trouble now! Oh my goodness, officer, am I glad to see you! This is bad! This girl, she's not young, she's an old woman! What? Why did you murder an innocent woman? Wait, I didn't! It wasn't me, it was her! He did it! What? You think I did this? Are you not even gonna check for fingerprints or anything? You're coming with us! Wait, who is us? I only see one of you. Are you kidding me? Wait, seriously? Are you actually... Are you kidding me? I have been traumatized! Now come! Oh my gosh, are you actually kidding me? You're gonna take me off the crime scene and leave Isabel here with her? This is so unfair! See, she has an axe! She has an axe! Oh my gosh, are you actually kidding me? Isabel, I will fight you one day, and I will kill you. Bye!
Yes, guys, that is going to be it from me and my friends today. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there are two videos on the screen right now. This one is biggest, and this one is uh, not allowed to touch the merchandise. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Good.